On this week's edition of Business Biographies, we speak to Mr. Kishu Gomez, Managing Director and CEO of Chevron Lubricants Lanka PLC, to find out how he steered the multinational company to its current stature. So Mr. Gomez, we see today a significant amount of your professional life being unveiled before the public. The awards and the accolades are numerous and your reputation, it definitely does precede you. Can you share with us how you steered yourself during those early days when success wasn't visible? Well, uh, you know, during my sort of, you know, school days, uh, I've been admired by others for the talent I had in many disciplines. So with that, there was a feeling that got into me, for me to think, okay, feeling is the best thing in this world. Uh, so when people, you know, looked at me and made comments, when I uh, did engage in certain activities, when people said, okay, you know, this, this boy is he's a good boy and he has talent and he's doing well, um, you know, that feeling got into me, then I started enjoying that feeling. So then it got to a stage where I couldn't live without that feeling and I wanted that feeling to be, you know, amplified. I wanted uh, that feeling to come to me more frequently, for which I had to, you know, look for new avenues uh, for me to be able to excel, uh, so that you know I could broad base, you know, my my talent and and lay my hands on, you know, uh, more things, different things. Uh, so that basically, um, you know, gave me the kind of courage and 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 the desire. Uh, to try doing different things um, and then you know finally um, I, I managed to you know put together a portfolio of things that I thought at that point of time would best you know suit me um, and, and then you know basically you know gone into each of those areas and done things uh, uh, I think good enough for the people to notice me and to um, you know, give me uh, the kind of recognition I have today uh, across the market. Now, I've personally heard you make the statement that you tend not to give credit to a single individual as being your role model. Instead, you've chosen to grab hold of the good emulated by several individuals and created your own unique self. Now, my question to you is, how did you as a young man gauge what is good and what influenced your morals and your value system? Right, uh, so before I ask the question, uh, let me make a few remarks about the statement you made. Um, I believe that you can't be another person. Even if you do exactly what another person you know, has done, you won't be able to copy that person 100%. Because there are inherent things in each individual which other people cannot emulate. Um, so therefore, I tell people, don't follow role models, because you can't be another individual. You try, you'll fail it miserably. Give me an example from, you know, anywhere in the world where someone has followed another person and that, that person has become uh, the person he wanted to be. I have not heard of any example, right? So that's good enough reason for us to believe and think that that's not a proposition. Uh, you can make it work, right? So. Uh, therefore, you know, my, what I advocate is learn from every single individual because every single individual you interact with will have some unique strength that you can, you know, emulate or learn from. So you develop that habit uh, so that, you know, you will not learn from one individual on a daily basis but from 20 different individuals. So that will give you knowledge faster, it will give you more expanded knowledge and expanded skills and then, you know, once you start uh, uh, emulating those things, uh, uh, you will practice certain things and certain things you may not be able to practice because those are not things you can do given your inherent style and your attitudes and, you know, all those things. But when you keep on doing that, you will recognize that uh, out of the entire basket, there are things you can do well and you start doing well, you know, those things. And then you know with that you create your own formula right, right? And, and become that unique person you have to be to differentiate yourself then only the recognition will come because if you try to be another individual there is no differentiation therefore there will not be uh, any special recognition uh, you know coming your way so how did i do it that was your yeah, question how did you gauge good versus yeah so it all depends on the feedback i got uh, from the people uh, I 
initially wanted to depend on. Uh, the reason why I said you know people I depend on or wanted to depend on is because you know you don't want to get feedback from the wrong people. It has to be the right people, right? Because you go to 100 people, 100 people uh, will be divided, right? Based on how they see things. Um, and um, even if you have more than 50 percent, that's good enough for you to conclude that uh, you know it is good. Um, so it's based on feedback. So. Uh, if you look at my profile, you know, I'm into uh, you know many different areas, um, including you know, active sports today. I still run, and uh, the day I retire is not the day I, I reach 60. The day I can't run 100 meters in less than 12 seconds would be the day I would retire. So I have my desire in me to try and maintain that speed until I reach 70. Right? So that's my aspiration, whether it will be a reality or not is, is another matter which we can discuss separately. But so you know that's what it is. So uh, the, the direct answer is I started doing different things based on my assessment uh, and then I uh, got feedback and if the feedback was good I was encouraged to you know uh, do better in those few selected areas. So today as a result you know I'm a different uh, CEO and uh, within that the corporate life I live is, is only about 40% of my entire life uh, so that's what it is.